What's up everybody? How y'all doing out there? Today I'm doing a video about wired printing. I want to talk about the dongles that you need and I'm still getting a lot of questions about this. I know I did a video before but this is really like part two. It's kind of like a refresher but also I wanted to show you that we can do wired printing, still have Wi-Fi on and still be able to share the videos or share your photos or boomerangs through email. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna talk about the hardware and then how to set it up. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on slideshow, just like that. And in order to do wired printing, we're gonna have to do iPad to printer, which means we have to use the hello print server that's right right there hello print server so i'm going to go ahead and turn that on i'm going to run it as administrator hit yes and you'll see i don't have an ip address there's no network available so what we need to do is to wire it up and then maybe it'll show up. So, the first thing we're gonna need is this adapter here, okay? And on this dongle or adapter that I got on Amazon, it has three ports. There is a, I guess this is called a lightning port, which allows you to still charge the iPad while this dongle is plugged in and you can have that plugged into the wall so you can charge. But the most important part is that you need an RJ45 cable, which I already have plugged in there. And then you can take the other end and plug that into your laptop. But you'll notice here that my laptop is so thin, it doesn't have an ethernet port. So for those of you who have a laptop that has an ethernet port, you just plug it right in and you're good to go. In my case, I had to go and get a RJ45 to USB adapter. So I'm gonna plug this in here and on the other end, it's a USB. So, I do have a USB port, and I'm going to plug that in. And computer will recognize it. But still, no IP address. So, I'm going to close this out. And here I go, I'm going to open this again. Now that it detects the ethernet cable, it gives me an IP address. I will take that IP address, I will click advanced, and I will type that address in, 169-254-142242. Now don't copy my ethernet address because it'll be different depending on what your computer generates. Okay, so you make sure that your Hello Print server and the IP address here is the same. You press connect. Once it makes the connection, once it makes the connection, the button will turn green. But in this instance, it didn't. And how you fix that is very important because what, what the iPad is doing is defaulting to Wi-Fi. So you gotta make sure that your Wi-Fi is off. So go back to settings and make sure that you turn off Wi-Fi, which I'm doing right now. I'm gonna turn off Wi-Fi. And then I'm gonna hit connect. And now it gives me the green connected status. In the event it does not, 
what you will need to do is go to your control panel and you go to network connections and you go to ethernet go to properties and you'll go, need to go to internet protocol version 4 right there select go to properties this is very important. Make sure that it obtains an IP address automatically and it obtains a DNS server address automatically. Before you close out this window, please confirm. Hit OK. And then close. And it no longer has that X. The Wi-Fi is X'd out because we don't want to connect to printing using Wi-Fi. We'll go ahead and turn that on later. So now that the Ethernet is on, we make sure that the IP addresses do match, and they do. Go ahead and hit connect. The green button comes on, gives us the connected status, and now we're ready to do printing. So we're gonna go ahead and start the booth. We'll do auto exposure, start booth, we'll take a photo, start session, it will go into face detection and allow you to choose the number of prints, in this instance we'll choose one print. And then the next screen dialog will allow us to either email or SMS. I will SMS. Make sure the number is correct. Hit send. You went to Kiwi for a second, and now it's been sent. And also, you can go back, delete the number, and text it to somebody else. When you're done, you can close the window. Let's also do an email, just to show you that they both work. send it went to Q and I know exactly why because we didn't turn the Wi-Fi back on earlier so now they're both in Q here's the print and we can close that out hit done and let's go see if it is really in that queue. Let's go to the back end. Let's see. Where is it? Aha! There is an email and an SMS in the queue. So, how do we clear that? How do we send those? We need to go ahead and turn the Wi-Fi back on. Now that the Wi-Fi is back on, let's see. We can go ahead and clear it. One, two. One SMS and one email. It's being sent. And that is how you do wired printing with wireless send if you have any questions leave them for me below otherwise happy booting everybody